So is there a benefit of a short stem in comparison to a straight stem? I would like to thank the Swiss registry people, especially Mr. Asbury, for the co-authorship from the University in Bern. My disclosure. So we learned from the Australian registry that there may not be a benefit introducing new implants. They show that 27% of newly introduced hip implants, they showed worse results compared to the average. None of the newer prostheses showed better results than established prostheses. So we also know from the Australian registry the most common reasons for early revision are infection, fracture and dislocation, followed later on after six, seven years by aseptic loosening of the stem. So we introduced the new calcar guided short stem in 2010 under study conditions. Then we released the implant to the market in 2013. So as I said, our study question is an uncemented calcar guided short stem beneficial compared to an uncemented straight, hair, straight stem in terms of early revisions. So what we did, we took the data from the Swiss implant registry the Swiss registry runs since 2012. They, they have a coverage of about 90% and more than 95,000 hips are documented so far. So we included all the Optimus uncemented stems and we compared them to the Twinsys uncemented stem, which is a Cori type, a hydroxyapatite coated straight stem. We included all the primary implantations between 2012 and 2018, and we restricted the indication on osteoarthritis and necrosis. So the Twinsys stem, uh, we already heard about ODEP rating, has a 10A star rating. That means we have a very strong evidence that after 10 years we have a revision rate which is below 5%. So good long-term results. The Optimist stem, we saw that also, that also before, has a revision rate, uh, early revision rate of less than 3% at three years, and that for we have an ODEP rating by 3A star. We analyzed the number of revisions. First of all, we looked at all revisions, all kinds of revisions, so independent if it was the head, the, the inlay, or the cup which was revised, and then the stem failures only. And we, we uh, we looked at the four most common reasons, which I already showed, loosening, dislocation, fracture, and infection. To calculate, we used the key-square test. So if we look at the demographics, so we could include 2,831 twin systems and compare them to 7,761 Optimist stems. If we look at the demographics, there is no difference concerning gender, median age, and median weight of the patients. If we look at the total revisions, in the Twinsys group we have 4.1% and in the Optimist group we have 1.9% total revisions, which was highly significant in favour of the Optimist stem. If we look at the most common reasons, so periprosthetic fracture in favour of the Optimist stem, highly significant, less periprosthetic fractures. Infection was highly significant, having less uh, infections in the Optimist group, but also dislocation appeared to be significant compared to the twin system. There was no difference for femoral loosening. If we look at the revision rate of the stem only, so we had 2.2% revisions in the Twinsys group compared to 1.1% in the Optimist group. Again, highly significant in favor of the Optimist stem. If we look at the four most common reasons, periprosthetic fracture remains highly significant, infection remains significant, whereas dislocation disappears being significant, and femoral loosening, again, is not significant. So what are the strengths of our study? I think the registry data, most of you may know Switzerland, we are a small country. We have more than 7,700 stems included. That means there are a lot of hospitals, a lot of different surgeons doing this operation. So these results may be generalizable. And we do not have neither a developer nor the industry bias included. 
Weakness, again, it's registry data, so we have only limited information available out from registry data, and so far we do not have long-term data. If we look at other registries, that was already shown before, so at up to 14 years in the Australian registry, they could not show a difference in the revision rate up to 14 years. If you look at the Optimist stem, again in the Australian registry, at three years, we have a revision rate of 1.2%. First uh, time this year, we got a, a brand-related uh, report from the German registry, and we could uh, look at the results also from the twin system and from the Optimist stem, and we have a similar picture after three years. Uh, less revisions in the Optimist group, and compared to the, uh, to the average of the two and a half years in Germany, there are 3.2% revisions. That looks so far uh, promising for the Optimist stem. So I conclude, yes, there may be a benefit of uncemented short stem over the cement, uncemented straight stem, so for total revisions, but also for the stem uh, revisions only, we, we see better results. They're promising short-term registry data. The benefit has to be proven by long-term. Thank you.